That's the thing with finding the square root of 6 in simplest radical form, as you can see. If you apply the synthetic division, as I've told you, right? If you find the prime numbers that are that can be divisible by 6, you're going to see that it's only going to be 2 and 3, right? So regardless, you're going to have 6 divided by 2, which is going to give you 3. And you can't really group the numbers. That's why the final answer is still going to be plus or minus the square root of 6. So, And let's see what they wrote. So the square root of a number can only be found this should be found if that number is divisible by perfect square other than 1. A 6 is divisible by perfect square, so square root of 6 cannot be simplified further. So this is right. Square root of 6 cannot be simplified further. In contrary, square root of 12 can be simplified because... Okay, so I know they're trying to um, say more information for the following, but this is not even relevant to answer the question. So, But what they're trying to say here is if you take the square root of 12, it can be simplified. Okay, so let's take a look at 12. Okay, so when you write or when you apply synthetic division to 12, you're going to see that 12 is divisible by 2. So that's what we're going to do. So 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6, right? Divided by 2, you're going to see that this is 3. So in fact, you can pair the numbers, right? You can have in one group, two of your twos, right? So in that case, you're going to say that, okay, so I have 12, so this is two times two times three. So this square root of two, sorry, square root of four rather, because it's two times two, is actually going to be two, right? Because if you take the square root of four, it's going to be two, so this is just gonna be plus or minus two, and whatever's left inside is going to be square root of three. So that's why, what they're trying to say here is, in contrary, square root of 12 is going to be equal to this. Yeah, okay. And then square root of 250. Okay, let's take a look at that. Again, anytime you're trying to answer a question, even on the test, um, this is something that we can learn from homework help. Um, focus on the question. Don't try to bring in things that are not going to answer the question because I think a lot of students, especially for short answers, they have a tendency to go overboard, which which doesn't really answer the question. So um, yeah, this is something that we can learn from homework help. So, so if you have square root of 250, right? Like it's good to have examples, I guess, for this portal, but when you're writing the test, keep it concise and answer the question. Great, so we have square root of 250, right? We apply synthetic division. We're going to have 250. As you can see, it's an even number, therefore it's divisible by two, right? So 250 divided by two is going to be 125. 125 ends in a five, therefore it's divisible by five. So if you have 125 divided by five, you're going to get 25. So this is 25 and 25 divided by five is going to be five. So as you can see, you can actually write square root of 250 in terms of square root of 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. So, so there's three fives within that square root. You can group this, right? Square root of 25 is going to be 5. So you can, you can actually have 5 outside and this is plus or minus 5 and whatever's left inside is going to be 2 times 5, which is 10. Therefore, it's going to be the square root of 10. So um, square root of 250 can be written as plus or minus 5 square root of 10. So that's going to be your final answer. And because it is also divisible by a perfect square like 25, yes, it's divisible by 5, right? That's why we have this 25. Okay, but that's the whole point with square root. So apply synthetic division and then divide your number with prime numbers and then pair the numbers. That's my tip for taking the square root without a calculator. Okay, so what? Okay, so they pretty much said you can't really simplify square root of six, so I'm just gonna commend them for doing that. So, perfect solution and answer.